I believe that no-till and strip-till technologies should be used more widely on farms. They help to reduce the impact of extreme weather and make us less dependent on changing conditions. My name is Simonas Barzda. I am a third-generation farmer, managing our 1,200-hectare family farm in the village Karava, district Panevijas in northern Lithuania. Our farm is known for its very heterogeneous soils. They can vary a lot, even within the same field. For several years now, we have been moving towards minimum tillage and have started taking the first steps towards regenerative agriculture. This includes direct seeding and strip till. I see clear advantages in direct seeding. It helps reduce costs, saves time, and allows us to work more efficiently. The decision to try the Avatar seed drill was also influenced by our field conditions. For example, when we had very tall cover crops, we first had to mulch and cultivate them before seeding. At the same time, we sowed part of these fields directly with the Avatar, and the yield was identical. That convinced me of its benefits. Our Avatar LC is equipped with a triple tank and the optional mini drill, so we can sow a variety of seeds when planting cover crops. We can also apply fertilizer and different varieties at the same time. For example, sowing wheat together with a companion crop. This gives us a lot of possibilities and flexibility. Features like autoforce and row control have proven very useful in our variable soils. With these systems, we can be sure that seeds are always placed at the optimal depth, ensuring good emergence even in challenging conditions. It's essential for farmers to be able to configure a machine customized to their requirements. Even in a relatively small country like Lithuania, both soil types and weather conditions vary widely. Every farmer knows their own fields best and can assemble the Avatar LC according to the technologies and conditions they have. I think climate change will have an increasing impact on how we farm and on our results. To meet these challenges, we have to understand soil processes better and learn to apply new technologies like direct seeding more effectively.